Hello again, this is Jamie Lynn Thomas, and I'm here talking about the seven categories of Bach flower essences. We're on the fourth category of loneliness, which includes the flower essences of water, violet, impatience, and heather. And then the positive quality to loneliness is spiritual perfection. Now, with the water violet, which we get to see all over here in Colorado, up in different bogs, especially up at Brainerd Lake and a few other lakes here, it is a type and a mood category, which lets us know that uh, it's it can be long-term or it can be an, be an acute theme. The positive qualities of water violet is that the person is gentle and tranquil. They're poised, graceful, sympathetic, and very wise counselors. Their peace and calmness is a blessing to all of those around them. And, and uh, what's really nice about water violet is that it helps to socialize your values, helps to bring them out and outward from your internal expression of your values, your less expressive, <laughs> and then you start to blend and socialize with other people. You start to become more able to interact with others regarding your values and staying in your core of who you are. The negative quality of water violet is that there's a type of dignified loneliness, which can come across as uh, aloof, where it really tells others to just leave you alone and kind of go along on your own way. Uh, this is this is a hard quality to see in yourself for some folks, but it's usually one that uh, you can see in others or perhaps in, in different instructors, you, you'll notice, will have this kind of quality. And the type of dignified loneliness, you'll really see this in health and, in health and illness. And that they, these people just prefer time alone. That's, that's what they prefer. They like to be alone. That's their favorite thing. They have feelings of isolation, though, due to this preference. And that they really tend to get cut off from society. They're really very independent and self-reliant people who are very quiet. And this self-reliance and independence tends to come across as aloofness and almost a quality of I'm better than you or I don't need to hear what you have to say to me because they prefer to be alone. Well, when you take the flower essence, you can balance that and get that peace and calmness that you're looking for. And then we have impatience, which is also a type and a mood. Its positive qualities is that it gives you understanding and tolerance of others, and then it helps bring you back to the present circumstance or situation. The negative qualities or expressions of impatience is this uh, speed kind of quality where <laughs> You ever heard a manager where they're like, no one can do it as good as I can, or, man, I am just so much faster than so-and-so at doing my job, and we both have the same job, and I get so much more done in my four-hour shift than that person does. This is the out-of-balance impatience. It's all about speed. These people, especially the type of impatience person, is quick in thought and action, and they expect this quickness to come through from everybody else. Uh, and when they're ill, they're very anxious for a hasty recovery. These are the folks in the nursing homes who are wanting to get out of there even though their leg is broken or the hip is broken and they're having a hard time walking. These people tend to prefer to work alone, and it's usually because they like to do it at their own pace and speed and quality of work. Uh, it's also usually seen that these people are quite shy and delicate for the world, that uh, they tend to become a little more overactive with speed. 
And then the final one is Heather. Uh, sometimes you'll see these in Whole Foods, the plants around Christmas coming up. And they're, these flowers are quite small, and they have a very interesting structure to them. And Heather is a type and a mood, and the positive qualities are that the person is selfless, unsparing in their efforts to help, and they're less talkative than they once were. They help find true inner support so that they're not looking for it outwards, and that the astral body becomes balanced and no longer inflated. It becomes more uh, equal to the person's bioelectric field that they're producing with it in relationship to all the other fields. So whether it's just one part of the astral body that's inflated or uh, all of the astral bodies that are inflated, they become balanced between each other so that they all have the similar space to move in. And then the neg negative qualities or indications for Heather is that the person is really so desperate to be heard and to connect to another person or person that they tend to speak consistently and speak so much that uh, they don't really notice if someone is listening or not to them. Uh, these are the people who might strike up a conversation with you in the grocery line and then tell you your life story, tell you their life story and all of their agonizing instances when you're trying to get out of there. Most of their speech is usually about themselves or someone they know so that they're speaking to keep the, the uh, attention focused on them. And this is a very sad type of depression. The person doesn't realize how lonely they are because they think they aren't lonely by speaking as constantly as they do. These people are also uncomfortable with silences or being alone. This is the person who is constantly trying to find people to be with them when they could just sit and be with themselves. But because that's so uncomfortable for them, they need to have somebody else that they can outwardly express and get attention back onto themselves. So this is the loneliness category. And then the next category we'll be talking about uh, is despondency and despair. Thank you so much for listening.